In this video, I'm going to show you how you can translate all the text in your Adobe Captivate project. Okay, today what we're going to do is we're going to export all of our text from the Adobe Captivate project that we're working on presently. And then, of course, use one of the new AI tools such as Google Translate to translate all of that text from one language to another and, of course, bring it back into Captivate relatively simply. So let me show you how that process works. Okay, so I have one of the sample projects available. Uh, obviously, there's some graphics in this. You would need to, of course, translate the any text that's in those graphics, but we'll certainly take care of any of the captions that are built into our project right here. So the first thing you're going to want to do is click on the file drop down menu and we're going to look for export. Select the export option and you'll see an option for project captions and closed captions. We're going to choose that. And uh, I'm just going to save this to my desktop here. Now, one thing to note is that this is a DOC format, a doc format, which is the classic format for Microsoft Word uh, up to, I think, Word 2003. Uh, by 2007, of course, uh, Microsoft was using the DOCX format. And we're going to need to convert the file to that format in order for this to work. So uh, we'll go ahead and we'll save this to the desktop. Okay, so the captions were successfully exported into Microsoft Word. Do we want to view this document? Yes, we do, because we're going to need to do some changes in order for the translation tool that we're going to use to function correctly. So go ahead and click on yes. This will open up Microsoft Word 365 or whatever version you have, and you can see all the text here. Here's a little pro tip for you, by the way. If you have a lot of white text in your Adobe Captivate project, you're going to want to go over to the Design tab and click on Page Color and choose a page color that will allow you to see that white text. So you can see here clearly I've got some white text and uh, it makes it easier for you to see. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ch I'm going to save this file in docx format, and that's important because that many of these services, whether you're using uh, DeepL or DeepOl, if you will, uh, or Google's uh, own translation service, requires docx format. So we're going to click on File, Save As, and we'll change the 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 file extension for this from a Word 97 to 2003 format over to the most, much more modern DOCX format. Uh, you can give it another name too if you want to make it very clear. This is our temporary file and we'll go ahead and we'll save that to our desktop. For now, we can close this project down. I'm going to minimize Adobe Captivate and there's my temporary docx format. Okay, so I'm going to navigate to translate.google.com. Uh, by default, it allows me to paste some text into this field and translate it over on the right-hand side. I'm going to select Documents, and I'm going to browse my computer, and we'll find the file that I just created, the, the temporary docx format file there. We'll click on Open, and uh, we're going to translate from whatever language it is right now. I believe it's English, or you can choose Detect Language, and then you can choose what language you wish to translate it to. In this case here, I'm going to choose Spanish, and we can go ahead and press the Translate button. Okay, once it's finished, the button will change to Download Translation. So we'll go ahead and we'll click on that, and we'll save it to our desktop. I mean, it's going to be called Temporary uh, one in parentheses there, which is fine. And we'll go ahead and save that. And we can go ahead and open this file when it's done. Okay, so here we have our translated text. I'm going to not copy the first row, but I'm going to copy everything in column four. And this can take a little while to do, but we're just going to scroll down in our document and make sure that 
all the text in that column is selected and you can help yourself out by zooming out quite a ways and that will make it a lot easier to select that text. So here's our document. Let's zoom in a little bit more than that. So starting with this second field here, there we go. So there's everything that's been translated that we need. We're going to copy this, go back to the original DOC file format that was copied from Captivate or exported from Captivate. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to maybe zoom out to make this a little bit easier to do. And I'm going to paste all that new text right over top of what was there before. So now I have a DOC format file that will allow me to save this in the same format. And let's return to Captivate at this point now. And we can click on File, Import, Project Captions, and Closed Captions. We'll navigate to the original DOC file, which we've pasted the translated text into. Click on Open. And this will take a little while, but I'll fast forward through this part for you. Okay, so 300 items have been imported, as you can see here from the pop-up. It does take a while. A great time to go make a coffee and come back to your desk later. We can go ahead and click OK. You can see clearly here that uh, Welcome to Cloud Air has been translated into Spanish and we have our subtitle here. And of course, now is the perfect time to go through your Captivate project and make sure that all the text has been translated correctly. Uh, again, like I said before, you definitely um, you know, want to take advantage of the AI technology that many of these translation services uh, use. But I would recommend that you have someone, a native Spanish speaker in this case, review the material and make sure that, of course, all the translations are accurate and using the right terminology. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, Hire Paul for one-on-one -on -one instruction. Paul's goal is to focus on lessons based on your specific needs. Visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com. And don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel.